There are some things that God really needs to deal with you about things that you have not yet let go because you don't know how to let go. God would tell me, you need to forgive. Okay, how do I do that? Because I'm still pissed. <laughs> you need to let that go. How do I do that? Because I, I still see what this person did to me. Remember, when I, was, when I was a kid, I didn't have a dad. I had so many issues. I didn't have a dad. Um, my family hated me because of the color of my skin. I was the darkest one in the family. Didn't like my gap, didn't like my hair. I was like the black sheep of the family. So I was always felt like I was being rejected, neglected. I didn't feel beautiful. And then I have this man over here who's supposed to love me. He wasn't there for me. So of course, what did I start doing? Making mistakes when it came to men. <laughs> Picking the wrong men. And then, then childhood trauma where things happened to me you know i was molested it was just things abusive things that happened to me and i really needed you know something I'm like god i couldn't afford therapy we didn't even know what therapy was but god was like you know what everything that i told you about healing i need you to put it in the book not just for you but for somebody else to help somebody else so of course this is not for everybody but if you are in that rim in your life so you know what i know i've been dealing with some stuff that i got it i gotta get rid of this and you've been struggling i'm telling you you can begin your journey it has all the strategies that i use all the coping skills the prayers everything that god showed me and told me to do i mean now i'm not gonna listen <laughs> let me keep it real You're trying to get healed you got to go back and pluck up the root Cause a lot of things we suppress and we find ourselves acting certain ways or doing certain things and making these same mistakes and you don't even you can't even control it that's just who you have become and god is saying you're going to have to go and revisit the trauma and that's the part that was hard for me i had to revisit the trauma that caused me so much pain in order for me to give it to god to heal a lot of people are afraid huh. to heal because of the pain that comes with it. Mm -hmm. When I went to the hospital, I had to get stuck. I had to get blood. The needle did not feel good, but I had to go through that process to get my healing. It's the same thing in the spirit. There's so many of us that are mad with people that are dead. Mm -hmm. That's in here. There's so many people who are mad with those who are supposed to love us, but they did not. There's so many, I'm gonna tell you somebody else that, that you need healing from, yourself. It's easy to forgive sometimes, but sometimes it's hard to forgive yourself. And that's where a lot of us get stuck in the healing part and also in the forgiving of yourself as well. Well, this journal has everything that Marshall had to go through to get the healing that, that God gave me. Step by step, everything. So I am, I'm just letting you guys know if this is something that you want, let me know. And since you're on this live, um, you can use discount code HEAL20 and get 20% off. Go to the theprocesslife.com forward slash journals. And I will put the link in the comments and you can just Put in discount code um, HEAL20 and get 20% off. It's time to heal.